Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we test every single mask in the world. That's right, today we are testing the Aigley N95 cup respirator. This thing is new on the market. They launched right before Delta. They've got a great product, a great box. We'll talk more about that. But let's get it in the clamper so that way, you know, we're doing things while I'm yapping. We have a reason to, you know, talk so much. Um, I'll talk about how cool this box is in just a second. Let's go in the clamp. All right. We are doing a little bit, if you're looking at our uh, surgical mask videos, you're gonna notice this is a little bit different. The setup is set to the NIOSH standard. We're using NACL here. I'll put a link up top if you wanna, if you wanna nerd out about how NIOSH does a different test than the FDA. And I'll let her rip. It's a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. Again, check out that link if you wanna know more. You probably don't, no one does, no one does. Three people have ever watched that video. Uh, remember, we're testing just filtration here, not fit, but if it's an N95, that means that the CDC and NIOSH have said the fit is good on this as long as you follow uh, the instructions that come in the back. All right, uh, so this company, Agley, let's talk about these guys. New on the scene, um, this is their website, agleyco.com, A-E-G-L-E-C-O.com. Um, new on the scene, uh, right before Delta, just down the road from us in Houston, Texas. Beautiful factory, brand new, brand spanking new factory. I thought my factory was new. Their factory is newer. Not that it's a competition, guys, okay? Don't make it weird. Um, it's a competition, and they're winning. Their factory's newer. Uh, so let's look at the box. I love this design that they have. They have this thing where you can cut off and easily, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's perforated right there. So you can easily grab and go. Um, the design is like modeled after like some sort of Viking Swedish country. Makes me feel good. Probably because I grew up in Minnesota. We'll never know. Um, and then they've got this amazing bag on the inside. Another feature of this box that just literally doesn't exist. In fact, I think it's patent pending is they've got embedded on the top here a chip that you can scan. And what that chip does is it gives access to their internal testing data from this lot. So you scan this, Pablo's calling. You, Pablo, I'm not talking right now. You scan this, and for some reason, I think I've scanned this too many times, but it's actually pretty magical when it happens. And it pulls up uh, a report from the day or the lot that your masks were actually made. And you can see filtration data, you can see breathability data, but the most important thing is that you can, you can verify that this thing is real, which is kind of a cool feature when it works. I think I scanned it too many times. There's some sort of security in it. So they've got this great bag that it, everything sits in. It's like got their logo on it. It's just a really sexy bag. It's a, definitely a premium product. It was up there with like the Demotex of the world, I would say. Um, let's take a look at the max mask. This is a cup respirator, another cool feature of, not that it matters, but a lot of folks in, inkjet print on these because you have to put this uh, NIOSH number on here. So a lot of people inkjet print on that. And why does that matter? Well, it just doesn't look great. They're using lasers, real lasers. I, I, I looked, it's like a $50,000 laser. I visited their factory and it literally burns uh, their information right into that. Uh, label, which is just like so cool. Um, doesn't affect the performance of the mask. I just, you know, nerding out over the tech. Um, so this is a standard cup respirator. A lot of people like the folds. I prefer the cup, to be honest. I don't know why. I just feel like it fits my face better. I know I didn't done that correctly. Just don't at me. It's got a nose wire up top, providing a pretty decent seal for me. These are a little bit smaller than ours, I think. Um, Ours are wider. These are more round. This is like a very round one, but it's giving me a pretty good fit. Now, NIOSH actually tests to make sure that this fits a majority of faces. So that's been through that ringer because you need both fit and filtration. What I'm testing here is the filtration. You also need the fit. And if it says N95 on it, that's basically guaranteeing you that the highest, highest level at the US government has given it a thumbs up. Um, so pretty good. Um, a couple things, just on my face, the, uh, the part where the welds are, 
I'm kind of getting like a little scratchy thing on my cheek. So if your face is exactly like mine, uh, listen up kids, <laughs> um, you're gonna, you, you might run into that. But the construction is overall really, really good. Um, I'm gonna do the, the test here. That's good. Now, remember for an N95, these can't break. This is part of like the certification of these things. So they can't break. And I could tell if I like really, oh man, that's, okay, yeah. That is never gonna break on your face. That is never gonna break on your face. That's super tight. I had to do it though. That's, that's 8% of you are just here to watch me destroy masks. I know you, I see you. Um, all right, but does any of that crap matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's check it out. Take a, let's take a look. All right. So actually their fold respirator did just a couple percentage points better. And remember N95 means 95% or better. Knocking it out of the part, boys. 99.369, 99.369. That's a great mask. That's an absolute great mask. And I'm just gonna run another report real quick to see what the uh, breathability was, because I didn't glance at it during it, I was just yapping too much. Uh, and, and the breathability is 157.12, 157.12. Now here's the thing. So the N95 standard is under 250 pascals. The surgical masks, we like to see under 150, uh, you know, maybe 120, under 100 would be great. But uh, 157 for, uh, for a cup respirator is really good. Ours tests over 200. So this is beating ours and the breathability front. So it's a great mask. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, review. And I'd love, I'd love, this is, every, this is the point in the video where everyone's like, I know, like and subscribe. Well, I don't want your likes or your subscribes. I do. But what I would love more is if you found a mask that I haven't tested yet. So I'm going to put a link to all the masks we've tested and then I'm going to put my actual address. And I want you to send me a mask that you want me to test. And if you send me a mask, send it in the whole box. Even if you've used some of the masks, that's okay. I need the whole box to look at the box, to see what claims they're making, to see who the manufacturer is, yada, yada, yada. All right, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you on the next test.